and welcome to Siska Stitches channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing us the basic materials that you will need if you are making a corset. Now, your bra cup is one important tool, but this actually depends on the type of corset you're making. There are corsets without bra cups, there are corsets with bra cups. So you can go on to use a bra cup depending on the type of corset that you need. Bra cups usually come in different sizes and different shapes. So you need to actually pick your desired one for your corset and the bra cups usually have the sizes written on them okay and it usually comes in even number so you have the bra cup sizes written towards your either left or right depending on how you're looking at it so for this bra cup i have a size 38 right here and now my bust is 37.5 okay so i usually go with 38 inches if your size falls on an odd number i always advise that you go the next size above okay so if your boss size is 37 or 37.5 like mine go for 38 all right don't go for 36 it's better you go for a size up than you go for a size down so a bra cup is actually a very important material needed to make it so next we're going to move on to is boning now boning is very very important as this gives structure in fact you cannot do without boning for your corsets now there are different types of boning available in the market the most common and the cheapest kind are what you have here so what i have here is a plastic boning okay this is it and what i have here is a regulin boning or polyester boning and this boning comes in different sizes as you can see i have two different sizes here this one is about a quarter inch and this one is about uh it's more than half an inch actually i don't want to say it's half an inch so this is what i have for my boning for a polyester boning you can sew on it without your machine needle breaking but you cannot do that on this one you're going to have a lot of broken needles if you decide to sew onto your plastic boning all right and when you're using your boning in order to have the edges not you know poke you or create you some form of discomfort what i'll advise that you use a flame to sort of melt this part and smoothing it out okay onto whatever surface you have it works for both polyester and uh plastic boning now there are other types of boning like your steel boning so you have flat steel boning and you have a uh, spiral steel boning so those ones are actually more expensive than your conventional polyester and plastic boning and they actually provide a stronger support on like your plastic and polyester bone not that this will not give you support they will but those are stronger and provide more support and your spiral boning is flexible on all sides so depending on the type of corset that you are making it is preferable that you actually use a uh, spiral boning all right especially for maybe curved um, boning channels your spiral boning will work best so now that we have talked about boning the next thing we are going to talk about is your bone casing so you actually need to create a channel on your corset to insert your boning okay and that is very very important now you can either use your seam allowance on your corset fabric itself or you can create your boning channels using a bias tape okay so this is readily available you do not have to actually you know create a bias tape yourself you can actually get this from your tailoring supply store and use as a boning channel so if you are making a boning channel for a boning that is as wide as this this is more than half an inch so you actually need to create your boning channel yourself so this is what we have for our boning channels okay so the next thing we're going to talk about is your corset busk now this type of material is used for mostly victorian corsets at least that's what i've seen it used for so far and it is usually used in front of the corsets to sort of like open and close it it actually makes it easy for you to get in and out of your corsets okay it has a clasp that you use to you know lock your corsets in place onto your body so this is what it is used for the next tool or the next material is your eyelets in order for you to use this eyelet, you need an eyelet tool. This helps for you to create the eyelet onto your fabric. Now, these eyelets are used for corsets that will need to be laced, okay? So it is used to create holes onto the back of your corset in order for you to lace through it. Another option, if you don't want to use eyelets, is to create loops at the back of your corset. So you can make loops from your fabric so this is mostly the materials used for uh, making 
your corsets depending on the type of corset that you are making another material that you will need to get for your corset is interfacing now you can use this interfacing to sort of like create more body onto your fabric basically make your fabric thicker so that your bonings do not poke through your fabric that is one use of it for some type of corsets it is used as padding around the cup area to give the cup area more structure so now that we have talked about interfacing the last material that i want to talk to us about is called the waist tape now this is used around the place on your body where there will actually be more tension on your corsets which is typically the waist area. It reduces the tension on the seams of your fabric around the tight area, which is usually your waist. So that is essentially what a waist tape is used for. And the waist tape is usually stitched around where your boning is going to be. Okay, so you just stitch it around that place on your corset and allow the waist tape to do its work instead of your corset actually stretching itself out. So I hope with this video we have learned about some materials that are used in making corsets, especially if you are interested in making one or you plan to make one yourself. I actually have some corset tutorials on my channels. I'm going to leave the playlist in my description box. You can go ahead and watch that and see how I use some of these materials to make my corset. So thank you for watching and I'm going to be seeing you in my next video. Bye!